Hello my people, I have a closed sender hydraulic system of a tractor. Now how does the, the, an hydraulic system of a tractor work in uh, lifting and rolling and in, in neutral? Now today I have come with a, a good uh, structure and how the material and the parts of a hydraulic system that is used and how it operates. So. This is one out of the two types. I have a, this is one of out of two because we have open and we have closed. This is the closed one, huh? and uh, it operates like this. And uh, let's see how it goes. So let's go. We have a oil reservoir. We have a pump. We have a control valve. We have the piston and the cylinder. We have the cylinder, and uh, we have the Lift link, this is cylinder. Cylinder that is after that. Uh, how does that uh, work? And how does lifting and lowering and neutral? So let's go now. After the oil is now get uh, this is the reservoir where there is oil. Eh? The oil itself it is pumped by a pump under high pressure. At high pressure, such that the pressure it will force the piston to make the movement, and the movement of piston is now the rolling and the lifting. Now it will depends on the movement of which which side of piston is moving. Is it downwards? Is it upwards? Now that will come out of where the oil was pressed to get into the cylinder so after the oil has get into the control valve assume i want to lower my weight here in lift link because this is where you place the load so after that you will see after now the oil has been pushed and uh, come to the control valve at a high pressure it will get to into this channel and this one because of pressure it will force the piston to move downwards making the point this point to move downwards that will cause the rolling of load now assume i want to lift the load assume I, the tractor want to lift the load. Now, after oil has been pumped into the control valve, the oil will get inside this channel. Now it will get into the cylinder at high pressure, causing the movement, upwards movement of pistol leading to this part. This is, this is connecting, connecting connecting rod now this will cause uh, at a high pressure it will cause the piston to move upward that upwards will lead this lift link to move the same up because that will result to upward lifting of load now assume now the tractor is uh, settled does not want to lift anything does not want to lower now it, it is on the rest it is on rest and should be on neutral now after the oil has been pumped into a control valve now mark and this master this the keyword where where does the oil goes after after it has been pumped into control valve which direction it has taken after it has been pumped into the control valve now in the neutral in the neutral now the enclosed system center system now this power will be it will be now uh, it, it, you may switch off the power because this is uh, closed now the hole that was forced here at high pressure no, it will this one it will get inside this channel following this channel and will get back 
to the reserve. Yeah. Assume that it will just get the reserve at a while it has been it has been pumped to the control valve, it will get inside and move just back. That's how a neutral position of hydraulic system of a tractor acts. Yes, I think we have understood. This is how simple and how it works. Hmm? And by the way, I'm Kasango Jr., an agronomist and extension officer by profession. Here is my number. In case you want to get that service, you want to get me, you can get my number. And forget this. Do not forget this. To subscribe to my channel. So that we can enjoy to learn more and more. So, thank you my people for watching. And mark this subscribe. Eh? Thank you.